peace is a common theme as we prepare to celebrate the season of Advent and Christmas. And this is the theme that the second chapter of Holy Disruption explores. During the holiday season, we see symbols of peace like the dove. We see those everywhere. And on our holiday cards, we, we typically wish one another peace. We think when we extend these wishes of peace, we think we know what we mean by peace. But the Jesus we find in Mark's gospel shakes up our preconceived ideas about peace. The biblical idea of peace, the concept of shalom, was more than just the absence of violence. It included the presence of justice and well-being. What we learn from Jesus's activity throughout the Gospel of Mark is that his peacemaking efforts lead to inevitable conflict. And that is because genuine peacemaking leads to the disruption of the status quo, the, the way things are. And the people who benefit from the status quo are going to be upset because they're going to feel threatened. Well, you might think about the peacemaking efforts in the United States at the time of the civil rights movements as an example of this. Those efforts to right a wrong, to pr promote justice and pr pursue justice, led to conflict because they disrupted the status quo of power and privilege and long-held social norms. Chapter two in Holy Disruption delves into the inevitable conflicts that arise as Jesus pursues God's genuine peace, both within us as individuals and within our communities. What Mark shows is that if you are going to pursue and promote God's genuine peace as Jesus does, you are going to face adversaries. This is what happens to Jesus throughout the Gospel of Mark, right at the very beginning of Mark, when Jesus confronts his own internal adversaries there, out there in the wilderness temptation, or when he confronts the religious leaders who oppose his efforts at compassion and justice, or even among his own disciples who, who resist his efforts. The kind of peace that Jesus requires of us as Mark portrays, is a very demanding piece. And we hear this, we hear this demanding call to us as Jesus' followers when he says to us, if any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. Chapter two in Holy Disruption explores what it means for us to follow Jesus on the hard path of peacemaking and the kinds of crosses that we might likely have to bear when we choose to pursue God's genuine peace within our lives and within our societies.